Good morning everyone. Two of the best Apple Watch Ultra clones. Vivo Ultra Max and Vivo Evo Ultra 3. So we are going to compare these two Apple Watch Ultra clones. Okay, let's start with the design. So when we look to the bezels, as you can see, Vivo Ultra Max has a thinner bezel. Actually, Vivo Ultra Max is the only smartwatch that has the thinnest bezel on the clone market, Apple Watch Ultra clone market. Also, on Evo Ultra 3, it is not too thick, but thicker than this one, but it is still has a thinner bezel than, you know, H11 Ultra Upgrade, H11 Ultra, H11 Ultra Plus, and HK8 Pro Ultra. Sorry, the H11 Ultra Plus has a thinner bezel than this one, thicker than this one, and this is the third one with the thinner bezel on the market. And if we look at the color, look closely. Sorry, let's turn this side. The original Apple Watch Ultra has a, the color that the titanium color, which look like more, you know, silver ish. And Evo Ultra 3 is the closest one to the original Apple Watch Ultra's color with its silverish color. This is also close, but as you can see, Evo Ultra 3 has a closer color and the design of the speaker and the hose, microphone hose are same like the original one. On this side also, there is no problem with the holes and design are same. When we look back after the watches, especially pay attention here. Just a second, I'm going to show you. Bluetooth 5.2. There are also different Evo Auto 3 versions on AliExpress, but this is the, the Vivo Evo Auto 3 version is the only one that comes with Bluetooth 5.2, which means when you have Bluetooth 5.2, it is going to consume your battery less than the others, for example, less than the 5.0. And also, between two of these, Evo Auto 3 has a faster chip. And this one is a little bit slower. Actually, it's not that bad, but on the Evo Auto 3, the chip is faster. Vivo Ultra Max has a 2.2 inches of screen. And Evo Ultra 3 has a 2.05 inches of screen. So let's just measure. But before measuring it, I would like to show you this. Vivo Ultra Max just comes in this box. A standard box. It looks like closer to the original one. But this one, the new packaging style of the Evo Ultra 3 is, you know, more similar to the original one. So when we turn it back. We have two boxes like the original one. One for the watch and one for the watch band. So the styling, the packaging styling is better on Vivo Evo Ultra 3. Let's see the sizes if they are going to fit. I mean, if original Apple Watch accessories fit these watches on zero okay let's start with the evo ultra 3. so evo ultra 3 has a size of 49 millimeters exactly the same size with the original one and vivo ultra max has a size of yes 49 millimeters too so which means Original Apple Watch accessories should fit these watches. So let's put some straps on them and the blue. Which one is this? Evo Ultra 3. 
and the second one okay and we were ultra max with it with the bezel this is the closest one to original one with its screen so let's see if a protective case for the original apple watch ultra fits to evo ultra 3 yes it fits perfectly and there is no gap and for vivo ultra max let's see if it's going to fit it fits but you need to make some pressure apply some pressure to make it fit yes it also fits and there is no gap okay let me just take this one out so we can turn them on so to turn it on press and hold the side button for vivo ultra max and there is no animation it's just you know something turning there and it opens english and it is turned on for the evo ultra 3 press and hold it's opening by saying hello so these are the opening screens and if you pay attention sorry this one has problem with always on display that's screen time always bright always bright means it doesn't have a always on display it's just for the analog watch like this one and also this one doesn't have an always on display they both have only these analog displays and when you look at the screen quality Evo Auto 3 has a better screen and are these icons functional? Let's try one by one. This doesn't work, this one doesn't work. But as I remember, they should be working. Interesting. Normally these are working, but you know, sometimes Evo Auto 3 is having problem with its screen, I mean icon, icons, touch sensitivity, see, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. With the last update, they have fixed the issues, but sometimes it's still happening and the touch screen drives you crazy. Let's check this one. Yes, on Vivo Ultramax, it works pretty well and in this video i'm just going to show you the most important parts and the differences because i already made the detailed review videos and they are if i try to make the same thing here this video is going to be longer than an hour so i'm just going to show you the differences what is best what is worse worse for these watches and then if you would like to buy one of these you can just check the detailed review videos that i am going to put the links in the description so the main feature the main difference for example this one one two three four five just five watch faces evo auto 3 has a compass feature which means it has also gravity sensor but as you can see it's having problem while you have you are having some metal stuff around there and this compass just doesn't start working even if i made the eight figure oh interesting this time it worked okay as you can see the compass is working let's try now if the 
icons work start working yes they start working come on yes but the touch sensitivity is way better on vivo ultra max okay let's see how many watch faces on this one one sorry one two three and oh, come on all icons are working on this one three four five i have downloaded from the application vivo ultra max is the only one uh, apple watch ultra clone that comes with hundreds of watch faces i mean more than 500 watch faces and 200 of them 200 plus of them are animated this is the only watch that you can find on that you know that much animated watch faces this is awesome and the application name is m active pro six yes and one two three four five six yes you have six watch faces on this one and you can also upload a do it yourself watch face and there is another one the second do it yourself watch face feature that you can upload five of your photos and each time you touch the screen the photo changes and also there is one more that any other of the apple watch ultra clones don't have this is the only watch which have that feature which is you can upload a video to your application and application takes a portion of one second of your video and converts it into a gif file and you are able to make your own animated watch face on yourself this is the only watch that you have that feature. That's why Vivo Ultramax is still selling too much. Even it doesn't have watch face lock feature because this crown keeps touching your hand and each time it touches your watch face changes. This is one of the bad side of this watch. So let's go to shortcut menus. So on this side, the screen brightness, this is the full brightness. We have torch here. Also, this watch has a torch. Call audio, media audio. Call feature. On Evo Auto 3, you can lock the watch face so your watch face will not change. Battery music remote here. Okay, this is all on this menu and split screen. As you can see, the touch screen is a little bit bad on this one. But this is the most, you know, realistic looking with its color. About the color, I mean. Activity page. Heart rate. Sleep. Weather. Music remote. And you can also add vid widgets from here. And which I would like to mention about also this watch. Among all of Apple Watch Ultra clones that I have reviewed, which includes H11 Ultra watches, HK8 Pro, H11 Pro, Vivo Ultra Max. This is the best one. I mean, this is the closest one that gives you the closest results compared to a medical device i already made that video i have compared all of these watches and the others with the medical device and this one was the closest one which is giving the closest numbers and vivo ultramax has one feature also none of the other apple watch ultra clones have which is when you go to Motion tracking, it has a motion tracking feature. Look at the history. It records your path on Google Maps. 
This is the only watch that show your route on Google Maps. Actually, first the app records it and imports, sorry, exports it to the watch. This is the only one. This watch really have cool features with its bezel, watch face features, this matte thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a gravity sensor, which means it doesn't have a compass and it doesn't have a watch lock. For me, they are the only cons for this watch. If this watch has a watch face lock, sorry, watch face lock, always on watch face and compass, this would be still the best on the market. Anyway, and also you can save up to 10 contacts on the phone book of this watch. And as I remember on this one, because I am sorry, I have reviewed lots of watches. As I remember, you can save 100 contacts on Evo Ultra 3. As you can see, both of them have always on display AOD, but both of them don't have always on watch face. The other menus are pretty much similar because both watches are the product of Vivo brand. You need to be very precise while using the screen. Come on, see? Really, on Evo Auto 3, they should release another update. It really drives you crazy. But the heart sensor, I mean the health sensor, are the best on Evo Ultra 3, on the Vivo version. Another difference, Evo Ultra 3 has a 380 milliamp hour battery. Vivo Ultra Max has a battery which is 450 milliamp hours. So this has a bigger battery because it has a bigger screen. But both of them, you know, they have the same battery lasting time because this one has a little bit similar screen. And is there anything else that I forgot to mention? Let me check it. So, yes, on this one we have games here. You also have some available games on the app. Come on, see. Two of them here. And on this one, on Vivo Ultra Max, yes, one game. Actually, you have six games on the application, and each time you can just download one of them, and on this one you can save two. Okay, these were the main differences between these two watches. If I forgot to mention anything, please ask me in the comments and you can actually find detailed reviews of these watches also in the description and forgive me if in the next a few days if i cannot answer your questions i will be out of the city because my father is going to have a surgery and i'm going to see him i think i will be back around you know four or five days later still i will have my laptop with me i'm going to try to answer your questions as much as i can so thank you for watching and have a great day.